Yo, what's going on guys? Nashra here, here today to give you a quick tutorial of the no-move Kucherov deke in NHL 20. Now to be 100% honest with you guys, this is not an intentional deke that was added to the game this year. It's actually a series of animations that allows you to do something that appears to be the Kucherov deke. This was actually discovered towards the end of NHL 19 and still works in 20, so I figured I'd give you guys a brief tutorial showing you exactly how this can be done, what it looks like, and hopefully we'll let you you guys score some sick goals as well if you guys have not make sure you hit that subscribe button for more nhl 20 content i'm trying to hit 300k soon we are very very close hit subscribe hit the video with a like and without further ado this is the kucherov d sometimes you just don't execute it and a great save and he buries it for the goal i really like how he made this look like he was gonna deep but he doesn't he stays with the shot and he capitalizes So as you can see, it's not a perfect replica of the Kucherov Deke, but I still find it pretty sick. And over the course of the entire game of NHL 19, I have never even seen anyone attempt this in a game. So it is very unknown. If you pull this off, you're an absolute legend. And I'll show you how to do it right here, right now. Honestly, the button combination is not that hard. It's just figuring out the perfect timing to make it look nice and to have a potential of it going in. It's not a deke that's going to work very often on an AI goalie. This is going to be something that's really going to be useful, specifically in shootouts and ESHL, where you have a chance to really deke out a user goalie. Now, the cool thing is there is a few different ways that you could pull off this deke. There's a fake backhand version like that, and then you can also do a forehand version, which I would say looks a little bit more similar to the actual Kutrov, but it's not going to be very effective. So that's what that one looks like. So first things first, let's look into why this deke is possible. As you scale up the ice, if you just hold LB and flick left, right, up or down on the analog stick, it's going to initiate that Kucherov deke. Saw me coming in on the goalie, this is what I'm doing. You can flick left to go to the forehand side, right to go to the backhand side, and it leads to those good opportunities. Now how you're gonna get the puck to slide into the back of the net and not follow your guy is with the right analog stick. So as you bump to the left or right, you're going to flick down on the right stick and that's what leaves the puck in place. So if you time this perfectly, bump to the right, leave down, and that's how that puck slowly slides towards the net. If we can get a clean one here, I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like. And that right there was pretty much perfect. As we approach the goalie here, you're going to see right around the hash marks, I let go of that left analog stick. Right here, I do not have either analog stick going a direction. That's where I initiate the LB. So right around the hash marks, you hold LB. I'm going to flick to the right. You see downwards right around 4 o'clock. That's what's going to initiate that original deke. Right after flicking that left analog stick, I instantly push down on the right analog stick. That's what allows that puck to slide to the net. Now right here, it's actually a little bit delayed uh, with the graphic there in the bottom right. I would say right after you make that flick, so right here, I've pu pushed that left stick to 4 o'clock. I'm going to instantly bring the right stick down to 6 o'clock and boom, puck finds its way to the back of the net. Quick recap, you're gonna let go of both analog sticks, hold LB, flick the left analog stick to three, four o'clock, flick instantly down on that right analog stick, and it's gonna hopefully slide five hole. This is probably one of the cleanest ones that I've had so far. Most of the time, you're gonna get unlucky. The goal is either gonna go for a poke check, or the way that you're going towards the net, you're gonna run into the goalie, get tripped up by his pad or something. I've got quite a few examples of those that I can show you guys from when I was practicing this deke earlier. Earlier. So here's some of those. So yeah, not the cleanest thing in the world, but still gets the job done nonetheless. There's a lot of different variations that you can do of this deke. The backhand fake is the one that I found to be the most effective on AI. I'll go ahead and show you guys what the forehand looks like, and you can maybe pull this off 
against a user goalie. If you guys want to do the forehand more like the actual Kucherov, but less effective, you can enter the zone, flick left, flick down. That would actually almost snuck in on that left side, and it's going to be the same process. So again, coming in right around the hash marks, you're going to let go of both analog sticks, hold LB, then you're going to flick to the left since you want to go to that forehand side, push down on the right analog, and that's what allows that puck to just slide right through. That one didn't quite go, but again, that's what it's gonna look like. You just gotta try to get the right body positioning and you know, really just get lucky on it going into the back of the net. Now, if you guys are looking for guaranteed goals in a shootout or on a breakaway, the Kucherov is not the move that you're gonna wanna do in NHL 20. There's a lot of different ways that you can score. You got the one-hander, you got you know the easy forehand, backhand. Just stick with those for the guaranteed goals, but if you wanna add a little flair, if you wanna do a goal that no one has ever really scored, the Kucherov is the one to do. It's just gonna be tough to pull off. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you guys some of the crazy goals that you could score accidentally when attempting this Kucherov deke. I was messing around in an offline shootout earlier and accidentally put a couple of them between my legs into the back of the net. So take a look at those. Of course, this can be done with righties as well. I grabbed Braden Point real quick to show you. Same thing, just flipped from what I said earlier. If you want to go to the backhand, flick to the left, push down. If you want to go to the forehand, you're going to flick that left analog stick to the right, push down, and that's going to make that puck go sliding. So I hope you guys enjoyed the secret Kucherov deke tutorial. Again, this is not a deke that's meant to be in the game, but fortunately enough, we have found a way to get it to work somewhat successfully, especially on user goalies. I think we'll have a lot of luck with this thing. So I want you guys to get out and try this for yourself. Make sure to tweet me or send me Insta videos of you guys doing this at the Nasher 61 If you found this helpful, be sure to hit the video with a like, subscribe for more NHL 20 content. I will be posting every other day for the next couple months. Let's keep the grind going. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.